I'm Jess with Aeromarine Products and I wanted to show you how I determine what type of mold to make for any given project. First, I start at the end. What do I want my finished cast to look like? Will it be indoors or outdoors? Is it decorative or functional? The answers to those questions will help me decide what type of molding material I want to use. For example, if I know I want to make an outdoor planner, I'll probably want to cast in concrete which means that silicone is out because it generally can't stand up to the abrasiveness of repeated castings in concrete. So Aeromarine Products Latex and Aeromarine Products 75 Urethane Rubber both have the abrasion resistance to stand up to repeated concrete castings. So either of those could be an option. So now I need to decide between which of these two materials would work best for this particular mold. Uh, the 75 urethane rubber is a pourable material, meaning that I would have to construct a mold box, put the part in it, and pour the rubber around it and form a block mold that way. Um, while the latex is a brushable material that you build up coat by coat until it's thick enough to be a glove mold. To determine which of those molds would be the best option, I have to look at the shape of my original. In this case, a block mold would use a lot of material because of all the negative space inside the planter. Uh, it would also be difficult to remove the cast from the block mold uh, because this entire interior would be filled with rubber. In this case, a latex glove mold is a better option because it's thin and it's easy to pull off of the original and the cast once you're done with it. What if I want to cast with Aeromarine Products Urethane Casting Resin? The urethane casting resin is extremely durable, it's easy to color, it's easy to paint, uh, and it cures very quickly. So if I'm using a urethane resin, I wouldn't want to use a urethane rubber because the two different types of urethane would fuse into one big horrific mess. Um, and I wouldn't want to use latex because urethane uh, generates a lot of heat as it cures um, and heat causes latex to break down a lot more quickly. Silicone is the best option for resin casting because of its high heat resistance. It picks up an amazing amount of detail, including the finish of paint and it comes in brushable and pourable types as well as varying degrees of hardness and flexibility. Having decided on silicone for my mold making material, I again look at the shape of my part. For something simple like the snowflake, uh, I would make a one part block mold from Aeromarine Products 125 Simple 1 to 1 Silicone Rubber. The Aeromarine Products 125 Silicone Rubber is an easy 1 to 1 mix ratio uh, it's very soft, which makes getting parts out of it super easy, and it cures in about 90 minutes, which is great if you're in a hurry. For a slightly more complicated shape like this pumpkin here, I would look at its undercuts, like where it meets the table uh, and how the shape of the stem is curved. Because of how small the opening in the mold would be if I did a glove mold, I think that silicone would have a difficult time stretching around the body of the pumpkin. The long stem would also present a problem as I would have to build out the supporting mother mold uh, to keep the whole thing balanced for casting. So for our pumpkin here, I would do a two-part mold with our Aeromarine Products 128 silicone rubber. It's a extremely durable silicone, great for multi-part molds and long production runs. A two-part mold will allow for easy removal of the casting, saving wear and tear on the mold so it will last longer. So for a very complex part that has a lot of undercuts or really severe undercuts, a lot of negative space uh, or holes, uh, I would need to make a multi-part block mold. Any place that the silicone could cause the part to become locked in is a place that the mold needs to come apart. So every hole, every undercut means another part to the mold. So that's a quick overview of the process I use to determine what type of mold I should make for a project. Uh, if you have any questions or would like to know more about mold baking, you can check out our blog at aeromarineproducts.com. You can also give us a call at 877-342-8860 and we can talk about all your projects. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more project videos and informational videos.